Jeez, where did summer go? I'm wearing like flannel plaid today. Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about how to clean the sensor in your AstroCam. And I'm going to show you how I do it. And what I mean by cleaning the sensor, I mean actually cleaning the window that is sitting in front of the sensor, which is fully replaceable. When I was researching it, it seemed like people were cleaning it with like microfiber cleaning cloths, t-shirts, q-tips, uh, basically anything that you could imagine cleaning glass would be so and that really confused me because coming from photography you know you need a special you know swab and a special cleaning solution to clean the sensors in those cameras but you really don't need that with these and yes you could calibrate all those dust motes out with flats but if you don't clean your sensor at some point uh, those dust motes are going to multiply and they're going to be all over your sensor so I feel it's better to just remove them from the get-go so they're just not there. And I've been cleaning my AstroCam in this way for almost a year and no harm has ever come to it. And how I'm going to show you, show you how to clean it is with stuff you might already have around the house. Uh, just be careful when you do it. Do it at your own risk. This video hopefully is just to give you an idea how you would clean your sensor because you're going to have your own way. So let's get to it. Uh, this is uh, just your simple eyeglass cleaner from Walmart. I think I got this for about five dollars for the whole bottle. A eyedropper, a standard Q-tip, and some type of magnifier. I uh, have these because I do a lot of soldering, but you can just use a standard magnifying glass. And here is my AstroCam. It is a ASI 183mm Pro. And now we're going to clean the sensor. First thing you want to do is use your magnifier, and this is just going to simulate uh, this being on my face, but the magnifier is used to inspect the sensor, and believe me, with a magnifying glass or these type of lenses, you'll be, able to, you'll be able to see any type of dust motes that are hanging on your sensor, so uh, you want to visually inspect it to make sure that you need to clean the sensor, because you just don't want to clean it if you don't have to. Then you want to take the cap off the lens cleaner bottle and stick your eyedropper in there and draw a little bit of eyeglass cleaner into the eyedropper until it fills it. And then you're going to take your q-tip, which is right here, and you're just going to apply a couple drops onto the q-tip. doesn't take a lot. Just like that. Okay, as you can see, my sensor window is pretty darn clean, but I'm cleaning it for you guys anyways, so you can kind of see how I do it. But you want to take the wetted Q-tip, and with a little bit of pressure, you just want to use a circular motion just to wet the sensor. And then you want to turn it around on the dry side and dry the sensor off. And make sure you get the corners. Light pressure, you don't need to press really hard on it. And sometimes I'll use a zigzag pattern until I feel the sensor window is clean. All right, a couple points to remember. Never use the same Q-tip twice because you could be dragging dirt from your first pass onto the window itself. So always use a fresh Q-tip if you need to make multiple passes to clean your sensor. Uh, also, I use this lens cleaner because it dries streak-free, it's inexpensive, and it evaporates super quick. So it's very convenient for me to use it. You can use whatever you want, whatever you prefer, but uh, I really like this, and it's only $5 from Walmart, so there you go. Well, I hope this gives you ideas on how to clean your own sensor on your AstroCam, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.